Hi, we're here at Health 2.0 Conference, Summer 2023. Now, who do I have the honor of speaking with? Well, I'm Craig Parnell, and I work with uh, HealthLink Dimensions, and I'm the Senior Director of Business Development. So, so great to have you here. Thank you so much. Now, you are a Health 2.0 Conference USA honoree. How did it feel to receive recognition for your accomplishments? Well, I, it, I've been in the pharmaceutical business um, 40 years. Wow, yeah, and I've, and I've worked <laughs> with some of the top CEOs in the business. Uh, Roy Vagelos from Merck and mm -hmm. Ralph Larson uh, from J&J &J and gosh, Eric Millage from Ortho McNeil Pharmaceutical and David Epstein from Novartis. So I've worked with top executives and they really have uh, taught me about leadership wow. as well as my father. Oh, wow. My father was a Navy guy and he was, uh, he was quite a leader. So anyway. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so what advice would you give to someone that is wanting to follow in your footsteps and have that um, accessibility, well, I guess, work and earn that respect from top leaders? Well, I working hard. I started in the business when I was in college at Hoffman La Roche interning. And when I graduated college, I had actually had marketing experience in pharma. And that's why I, that's how I got the first job at Merck. Uh, and I was working directly with the CEO of Merck. I was working in multimedia at the time, uh -huh. videotaping him, uh, talking about the different drugs they had. And then they used to send them out on the satellite back then. Um, not over the internet. Yeah, yeah it's a, a different day, but it was still effective. And Merck at the time was that that stock actually was trading at about two seventeen a share. Did a quad split, um, so it was a very powerful company. But they had very innovative drugs. So, oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's oh my neat. gosh, got the foot in the right door. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and so it's hard work. I mean, yeah. it's hard work. I mean, when I, when I worked for Johnson and Johnson, they sent me to group. Uh, sent me to grad school at nights. And that's when I started to learn about internet marketing. Wow. And I did some of the first internet sites for women's health for Johnson & Johnson. So no them way. sending me to grad school, they promoted me to a senior director after I graduated. But we, we were able to tell the marketers there um, about why they should be using the internet along with mm -hmm. the commercial advertising. And it's done, sta it's standard today in pharma. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we were trendsetters. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That was a huge movement. Yeah. Huge. And I've always been kind of uh, ahead of the pack like that. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm always looking at technology and how you integrate technology with marketing and pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. how, to, how to educate patients um, and physicians about ther therapeutic treatments that save lives. So, yeah, it's kind of neat. It's amazing. Wow. So how has your learning and networking experience been so far at Health 2.0 Conference USA? You know, it's, it's, it's been very interesting because it's a, an eclectic group. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when actually, when, when, I, when, we, when, I, when I attend Congresses, generally it was a lot more pharma people. Mm -hmm. So there, there wasn't as many pharma people there. Um, there was more physicians and educators. So it was a, a different experience, but I, I think it's a good experience. Um, because I had to rethink the way I was going to sell here <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because we came here to sell, but no, I, I think it was, it's, it's an effective conference. Um, and I think so, some of the physician insights on AI were very good. And I, I think patient care, I, I the, the thing I've got at, received out of this conference is, um, the way we have to, um, help patients in this new technological age, um, get better and use both the technology and the physical beings like physicians to really get better and uh, with, with their health. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, a, that's a very unique thing, I think. Wow. And we're still learning about it a little bit, yeah. you know, it, that whole, um, you know, it's, I actually on LinkedIn a couple of weeks ago, I posted something how hematologists are using AI to diagnose patients and then look at proper protocol for the way they're going to treat that patient. So that's kind of the future, yeah. but, but it takes that human touch, you, you know, techno and, and I, the other part of AI, which is very interesting, um, is there's a behavioral change and an organiz organizational change that has to happen, not only in corporations, mm -hmm. but in the private sector all over, because humans sometimes they're a little bit behind the technology yes. because, <laughs> so you know, if society hasn't changed yet or physical organizations, corporations haven't changed. Mm -hmm. The people haven't been able to change quickly enough to follow the technology to use it properly, so. 
There's wow. some some work to be done there. So. You're like a wealth of like knowledge. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Um, and where can others reach you for collaboration or advice? With them? What, where can others reach you for collaboration or advice? Like well, a oh yeah, well I'm on LinkedIn, so okay. uh, I have a, about five thousand followers on LinkedIn, oh, wow. and um, yeah, so they I actually help a lot of uh, younger people coming up in the biz, business world get in get into the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. business. Um, actually, it's funny when I was uh, I worked for Cross Health, I started their U.S. practice, uh -huh. um, and there was an intern from Rutgers that came to work for me. Rutgers yeah, University? Yeah, so, <laughs> and she was really bright and she picked up on the pharmaceutical business and advertising and now she's a very a successful uh, advertising executive for one of the big, biggest agencies in the New York area. So, That's amazing. yeah, and she's really, she's doing very well. So yeah, awesome. so yeah. What a help, servant heart. That's amazing. Help, help. Well, that's what we do, right? Yeah. We help people achieve. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Wow. Um, and your what is your company Health Link Dimensions do exactly? Well, Health well, our specialty is we have the largest database mm -hmm. in the nation of healthcare providers. Oh, and okay. we use that database to help pharmaceutical companies as well as agencies reach their target audience. And so, say a pharmaceutical brand in oncology, we used to go out to 20,000 oncologists about a new breast cancer treatment mm -hmm. or a phase three study. We will help that pharmaceutical company or the agency reach out to that physician base mm -hmm. to make sure they understand the product, the therapeutic state, and the value of that drug. And that's so important because physicians are really first first line therapy for uh, oncology patients. Yeah. Um, so and and there's another side of that we don't do as much on the consumer side, but there's you know outreach to consumers through ab advocacy and oncology is so important. Yeah. I belong to a group called I uh, Had Cancer, and okay. it's a group of uh, breast cancer survivors. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. and they help each other. Well, advocacy advocacy is very important in pharmaceutical, yeah. because you have to make sure that the patients or the people that might get the drug understand what the drug is and understand that disease disease state. So mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing your wisdom. We're so happy to have you here. Congratulations again. All right. Well, thank you. It was thank great, so great meeting you. Nice to meet you, you too. <laughs>